half, UCLA down two. Six foot one inch freshman Baron Davis, crazy mad hops. Swatch Roberto Burgesson from behind, who's six six. Boise State up two. Shepard steals Earl Watson's pass. Outlet to Burgesson, goes in for the rock shaker. Two of his 11. Boise State up four. UCLA down two now. Kawan Woods turns it over. Baron Davis takes it up the court, getting his swerve, his mat, and his vibe on. Oh my! 14 points right on his average. Check it out again. Oh. Serious body control. He also had four assists. He's averaging nearly five best on the team. UCLA took control. Chris Johnson, three. Booyah! The only three-pointer in the game for UCLA. Johnson, 22 points, four rebounds. Stewart says, ha! Phil Jackson, 500 wins. I'm going for 700. The Alana up by one. Early second half off the break. Victor Chukudebe. Oh. Nice follow. Illinois up early. Mizzou comes back. They're within one. Albert White <laughs> snuffed, but his stick to itiveness pays off. Tigers take the lead. White 16 points, 11 boards. They didn't even know if he'd play. He's been hurt. Johnny Parker will nail the three. Tigers pull away late. Norm Stewart gets number 700. James Phelan and Bobby Knight, who's got 706, the only other two active coach yet ridden all over the visiting Cats. Things would be rough early on. The collision, huge between Eugene Edgerson and Terrell Baker. They collide in midair. Both would continue. First half, Bibby writing his signature on this game. Five threes in the first half. Arizona got 22 out of Bibby by the break and are up by five. Second half, Florida State on the run. Baker comes fighting back and gets the give and go with Kerry Thompson. Seminoles take a two-point lead. Arizona fast breaking on their own. Miles Simon, Mike Bibby, alley oop to Michael Dickerson. Arizona up top by three. Lamar Greer, too much down the stretch. Three to shoot. Drives. Greer gets it back with a long prayer. Had no idea. Just trying to beat the clock. Team goes up five. Arizona misses. With the Bibby miss, Greer picks it up, gets it ahead of the pack to Baker. He gets hammered, and the Seminoles hang on and win it 84 to 79. Finally, they knock off a team that had a one at one point in front of it. The preseason number one to take on the Trojans. Paul Pierce breaks a 22 all tie on the baseline jam. He had 17 for the Jayhawks. Last seconds of the first half. There it is. Rattles out. But Jeff Trepanier with the huge block. Kansas up by just two at the break. Alley-oop, backdoor. Ryan Robertson to Kenny Gregory. Robertson had nine assists. That one the most spectacular. Then Rafe LaFrentz had a huge game. He had 17 points. The finger roll there. Trojans were game, but they couldn't keep up with Kansas, who pulled it out. UMass probably doesn't want to see Khalid al -Amin again. Forces the turnover and then forces up to Richard Hamilton, who feeds Kevin Freeman. Huskies up seven early. Now El Amin on the offensive. He drives the length of the floor, puts up the runner, and the foul. Jim Calhoun's Huskies led 34-23 at the half. More El Amin in the second half. Driving to the hoop. He had 18 points. UConn up 12 there. Now looking to extend. Antrick Kleber intercepts the pass. We're in transition now. Hamilton finishes. Ferocious. UConn wins 72-55 in the Battle of the U's. UConn gets the W. Hmm. Richard Hamilton scored 21 points to lead. It's a close one. Matt Harpering finds Dion Glover all alone. Glover finished with 21. George's Ray Harrison had the answer. Gets the ball from G.G. Smith, and he takes it to the root. Finished with 21. Georgia Tech down in the second half, but Harpering tries to pull him back with the pull-up jumper. 29 points for him. Not enough. Harrison finds Jumaine Jones. For the dunk, Bobby Kremens. Bump. Final score, 77-71. The Bulldogs prevail despite making... Not so fast, my friend. Early in the first half, Tariq Wallace with the alley. Derek Hoop with the oop. And Arkansas leads by two. Late in the first half, Arkansas by 11. Nick Davis for the short jumper. He had 13 points. And Nolan Stevens up by 10 at the half. Second half, American on the run. Wilfredo Pagan for three. Pagan another gentle, soft, left-handed three. Five of nine for behind the arc. Later in the second half, AU up by four. Angel Paniagua with the dunk. AU leading by six, but Arkansas back within one until the steal at the end of the game. And Paniagua with the lay-in.
And American University of Puerto Rico upsets Arkansas 64 to 59. Up against Iowa State, first half. Lee Nalen goes up, draws the foul, gets the layup. TCU led 55-25 at the break. Malcolm Johnson knocks the ball away, dives, hits it to Mike Jones. What a save and pretty good shot. It's a nice roll off the rim. TCU cruising at this point by 33, and they go on for the blowout victory. 93-54. Michigan and Murray State tractor trailer with the rebound to Travis Collin, and that is Brandon Smith. Smith had eight for Michigan, and later, trailer down low with the monstrous dunk in Michigan all over Murray State, 76-53. Maceo Baston led the Wolverines with 17. Trailer Murray State misses a three. Rod Murray to Terry Mays, back the other way. Mays, 42 points in the game and 10 rebounds. Then off the turnover, Chad Townsend goes in alone for the jam. Arkansas goes down again. Murray State wins at 94-83. This is Arkansas's first trip outside the U.S. since 19... Syracuse, Lewis Bullock, driving and scoring. Also dishing as well. Watch Josh Asselin set the back screen on Eton Thomas, freeing Maceo Bastin. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Michigan shot 61%. Then Bullock finds Robert Trailer underneath. The tractor at 15. End of the first half. Bullock breaking the press on his own. Finding Jared Ward, who scores and is fouled. Eight assists for Bullock, Michigan by 12 at the half. They extend their lead in the second half. Bullock again pulling up for the jumper. Shiloh, 24 points, eight assists, eight boards for Bullock as Michigan wins. They win the Puerto Rican Holiday Classic. Mark is staying in the game. This in overtime, Eden Santiago. American down 96-93. TCU had an answer on the next possession. Brian Carroll for three, 99-93 TCU. After free throws made it 103-93, American trying to keep it close. The final three point, no good. Lee Nalen sends it out to Mike Jones, who finds James Penny. Penny had 31, including six in OT. Billy Tubbs, Yahoo, 25. And Princeton coach Bill Carmody not liking what he saw early. First half, Princeton down nine. Mitch Henderson's backdoor pass to nobody in particular. Ten first half Princeton turnovers. They would trail by eight at the half. Second half, Henderson redeeming himself, coming up with a big steal and going the distance. Part of an 11-0 run for the Tigers to open up the second half and take the lead. Drexel down two, trying to tie the game. 18 seconds to go. Henderson comes up with a steal again. Drexel coach Bill Harrion, irate, thinking Henderson kicked the ball. Another look. He did. Hey, he's got a point. Closing seconds and Drexel down by two. Greg Gaffney driving. Pulls up for the three and the win, but no. Princeton victorious. The Tigers entering the game shooting 37% from three-point range, hitting just four of 25 shots from beyond. Cross court to Felipe Lopez with a stocking stuffer. Red Storm up one at the half, but the second half would be all Niagara. Jeff Connor for three and the foul. Part of a 28-6 run for Niagara. The Purple Eagles trying to put it away. Alvin Young appears to be hurt during the defense, but wait, there's a turnover. And suddenly, it's a miracle. He's healed. <laughs> Up and in Niagara. Slowly I turned, inch by inch. Purple Eagles had a 17-2 run in the second half. St. John's just 6 of 28 from three points. Elizabeth, though? You have to Maybe. On the playground Didn't look good early. Adimola Aquilajo with the steal. Ed Coda behind his own back and the foul. Look again. Good to himself. Baby. Tricky stuff. Carolina up by five. Carolina Later, crunch time. 2.3 seconds left. It's tied up. Hoda with the ball. Desperation in. No. Not this time ago. To overtime. Carolina up two in OT. Shot clock winding down. Jumaine Jones is there. 78. 78. Tied up. Less than 10 seconds to go. Hoda. The touch. Finesse. Lob. Vince Carter. He lays it in. North Carolina by two. Last chance for Georgia. 3.2 seconds left. Length of the court pass to Jones. He catches it and is fouled on the shot by Coda. Two shots with a chance to tie. Jermaine Jones, an 88% free throw shooter. He's hit 15 in a row. Guess what? Ah, there goes the win. North Carolina celebrates. They take it in overtime. Wasn't easy for number one. 82 to 80. And Louisville. Louisville losing six of seven going in. Off the block here. Allen Edwards. Wow. Going the length, throw it down. 
Game tied, 52-52. Denny concerned. Louisville up 70-63, to under four minutes left. Eric Johnson, look out, 20 points for Eric Johnson. Kentucky down by four, under a minute left. Wayne Turner off of the floater. 78-76 Cardinals. Louisville up by three. Kentucky chance to tie. Scott Padgett, no! Cardinals win in Rupp Arena, 79-76 in Lexington. Second half Louisville series, 20 to nine. Number six Utah on the road against Wisconsin Milwaukee. Rick Majerus from nearby Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Having some problems early though. Jared Hardwick the steal. Pulls up. Shooters bounce. 26 all at the half. Second half, Utah trailing by three. Andre Miller, baseline, and the foul. Taking the lead on a one and eight club. Utah now up just by one, but Miller. Coast to coast, 14 points, nine rebounds for Miller. Utah takes it 66 to 51. Majerus getting the win over his former Marquette teammate and current Panther. Meantime, only lost this year to number one North Carolina. Saturday, Bruins in Vegas. Look out. Whoa, is that? Take another look. Tyrone Nesby thumping it down. Nesby scored UNLV's first nine points. Later in the first half, Baron Davis takes the pass from Earl Watson. Banker. UCLA led by 16. Toby Bailey inside. Has it through. He had 17 points for UCLA. Under seven minutes to go in the first half. Greedy Daniels there on the follow. UNLV trailed by 11 at the half. Reggie Theus had his number 23 retired at halftime. The all-time great Rebs. It was UCLA, though, in the second half. Toby Bailey with the three. UCLA up by 14 and held on. Got close at the very end, but 65-57, the final. Southwest Missouri State team in to face the Hoosiers, and we are family. First half, the family feud. Kevin Alt looking like Alford from three-point range. Bears up 16-11. Indiana rallies. Michael Lewis steals it. Finds Luke record. Throws it down. He had 11 in the first. Hoosiers up 42-34 at the half. Second half, Indiana up. 54-37 off the turnover. Record goes in for another jam, and Steve Alford is looking a lot like Coach Knight there as the Hoosiers win 78-66 the final. William Gladness season high 23. Michael Lewis season high 10 as their own tournament. Let's go up the interstates. Providence at Purdue. First half, Jamal Thomas, the huge one-handed oop. Fires down eight at the half. Second half, Purdue runs. Cornell to Cardinal. Back to Cornell. Gets the nice lay in there. Purdue up 66-60. Providence rallies, though. Ben Perkins way outside. Drills the tray. Friars take a one-point lead. We're now tied at 79. Chad Austin inside misses, but Cardinals there with the follow-up and the basket. 81-79, Purdue. Providence has a chance. Less than three seconds left, but Perkins loses the handle. Thomas is shot after the buzzer. Gene Cady and the Boilers escape. 80. Into Paul, first half. Torrey Braggs inside. Good pass there. Braggs, 14 points, 12 rebounds. Xavier up 13. Paul coach Pat Kennedy not having an easy first year, but neither are the guys in the huddle. Coach, go easy. Hey, second half. The ball along its way within three. Darnell Williams, watch this. Long and strong. 21 points. Xavier gets by DePaul 73 to 56. DePaul has scored more than 60 only once this season. And Niagara, you know how sometimes the highlights aren't indicative of the game itself. This one is a typical Princeton possession. Breaking down the defense, constant ball reversal. 14 passes on this one possession. Princeton shot 15 for 32 from three. 45 of their 61 points came off three pointers. Their average possession, 24.5 seconds. Shot clock winding down. Somebody take a three. Mitch Henderson. Uh -huh. They just hurt you. 61 52. Project Tech. Matt Harpering crashing the boards. That's crashing them. Fights. Fights. Gets it down. Tech up by five early. Harpering eight for 16 from the field. Miami responds, though. Vernon Jennings misses. Tim James is there. 19 points, 12 rebounds for James. Tech by three at the half. Second half, though, it's all Tech. Travis Spivey to Harpering. Cutting. Harpering, 24 points, 12 rebounds. Georgia Tech takes it 69.